this exercise we're going to calculate the mean and variance of the distribution of the sum of the throws of two dice. I, I set up a table in the left hand part of the screen to calculate the probability distribution. So along the uh, left column here I've got the outcome of throw two and along the top row I've got the set of possible outcomes of throw one. So in this box I'll work out the possible values of the sum of the throw of the two dice. So clearly if you've thrown a one on one uh, throw and a one on the other the sum will be two. So this cell is a two. And the formula for uh, to calculate that firstly fixes the row that we're calculating and it fixes the columns so that we when we're calculating the sums we hold fixed this column and this row so that means that I don't need to enter any more formulae to get the to get Excel to work out all the outcomes here they are now we can see that the outcomes lie between 2 and 12. So 2 to 12 is the range of the new random variable that we've created. Let's call that random variable x and put the possible values in there. So 2 is the um, first value and we'll just add 1 to that. And, and hey, scroll that down. So we get uh, 2 through 12. When we're calculating the variance we're going to need x squared so we might as well calculate the value of x squared at the moment so that's just equal to the um, column at its left raised to the power caret symbol 2. So now we've also got x squared. What's missing is the probabilities and to work out the probability, since each of these 36 outcomes is equally likely, we just need to count how many of the different outcomes they are. Well, we can be lazy and let Excel do, do that for us using the COUNTIF function. Equals COUNTIF, then we, take, we mark the whole area. And because we're going to do this more than once, we freeze that area using the F4 key which freezes the area so that when we come to calculate it for other cells it's it's still going to calculate over that range of cells we do comma and then we click for for j2 in other words it's going to count the number of times 2 occurs within this blue set blue um, bordered set of cells and the answer to that is 1. But then we can drag that formula down and we get that 7 occurs 6 times. 12, like 2, occurs only once. We can work out the probabilities by dividing uh, these numbers then by 36. And we get um, 0 0.2778 we can uh, wor work out what the probability of x times the value of x which we're going to need for the expectation of x by just taking this new cell that we've calculated and multiplying it by the value of x we can also work out what the probability of x times x squared is by taking the probability of x and multiplying it by x squared. So here we've got three cells representing the probability of x, the probability of x times x, the probability of x times x squared. Mark them, copy down, and we've got uh, the essence of what we need to calculate the expected value and variance. 
So the expected value will just be the sum of this column p of x times x. So we just put in equals sum. Expected value is 7, which seems completely uh, reasonable, completely common sense, because 7 is right in the middle of the distribution of outcomes. We can work out what the value of x squared is by just adding up uh, this column. So the expected value of x squared is uh, 54.83. Now we know from the formula for the variance that it's equal to the value of, of it's equal to the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x squared. So it's equal to 54.83 minus the expected value of x raised to the power 2, 5.833. We've calculated the variance which is 5.833 and the mean of uh, which is uh, 7 for the sum of the throw of two dice the the random variable represented by by that uh, event okay that's it